How are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping to Asda. Come and have a look at what I've got. I had a little walk around Asda and I came across this. I have reviewed quite a few of these beef dinners, but I haven't seen this packaging before, so I put it in the old shopping basket. Beef dinner. Rich sliced beef with golden roast potatoes and a crispy Yorkshire pud in a hearty gravy. Serves one. 375 grams. Little traffic light system for the nutrition. And there is the lovely serving suggestion. This was two pounds and ten pence. So let's take a look at the packaging. Two pounds ten for a beef dinner. <laughs> That's quite cheap, isn't it? I know it's only 375 grams. Great, but it was 400. Um, but yeah, we need to have a look at it. We really do. Got it from Asda, like I said. Let's go round the back. GB sticker there. Packed in the UK with beef from the UK for Asda. Cooking instructions. Tell you what, I'll, I'll read the spiel out first. I'll do it in a bit of a procedure. Ready to cook frozen roast potatoes, carrots, peas, sliced beef, silver side and Yorkshire pudding with gravy. They are the ingredients. The allergen, allergens are barley, wheat, egg and milk. There is some nutritional information and I do see there it says no artificial colours, flavours or hydrogenated fat. There's the nutrition. If you want to have a look at that and pause that and study it in more detail, then please go ahead. Please do not eat it raw. From frozen, there is a procedure. Um, or you can do it in the microwave. It's a bit of a ping meal. We've all had them, haven't we? We really have. Right, let's get this up and see what we've got. Do we have a tab system? Uh, my finger again. Comes in handy, your finger. <laughs> yeah, that opened okay. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, so that, that's what you get. That's what you get. I would imagine your beef, I had to look twice then, I would imagine your beef is, is sort of underneath here. I mean, it is only £2.10, so don't, you know, you can't expect miracles, although we want miracles, don't we? <laughs> Here's your little Yorkshire pud, and these are your little roast potatoes. Goodness me, they are diddy, aren't they? They are really diddy. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna do mine in the oven. So it says, I mean, you can do it in the microwave. It says, it says 12 minutes. I see, that's a long time. Or nine minutes for 900. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and get the best out of it and do it in the oven. So it says, peel away the film from the Yorkshire pudding and the roast potatoes. So let's, let's try that now. Yeah, that's, that's worked. Yeah, I'm not going to go too far because I don't want to do that. So you have to take them out. Like that, and there we are, we'll have a look, look at that, look at that. <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry Yorkshire Pud, that is pathetic, it really is, but you've got to see two pounds and ten pence. Here's your, that's your biggest roast potato, and that's your little crispy one you're going to get. I don't, I don't mind crispy roast potatoes, in fact I love them, yeah I do. So what's the next stage of procedure? Recover the potato compartment, pierce the film lid over the beef tray compartment in several places and place the container onto a baking tray. Cook in the centre of a preheated oven for 30 minutes. Place the Yorkshire pudding back into the potato compartment and cook for the final five minutes. So that stays off for now. That goes back over there like that. They stay on there, spreading them out. Uh, and then we're to pierce that several times. Oh, miles away here. We're to pierce that several times. Just like that. So that can go in the oven now. I'll just spread these out a bit better. So we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven roast potatoes. That's... I did an M&S one and I think I only got three little roast potatoes. So yeah, it puts it in perspective, doesn't it? And that was about six and a half quid. Right, let's get this in. So, just going in like that. Shall 
the door and don't let the heat out. Now bring it back, back periodically. I missed a bit of information there. I notice it says when oven cooked according to instructions, 375 grams of a frozen product typically weighs 350 grams. I'm warming my plate up on here. They're pretty good for warming your plates up, I've noticed. So I used to have had quite a lot of these meals. When I was when I got out of the army, I got a job on security in the shipyard and we used to take these um, roast dinners into work and uh, we used to have them on our night shift. I always used to double up, take two. You know, we used to have fridges in there and cookers, microwaves, so we'd have all the sauces and yeah, we'd get stuck right in. And at the weekend, we always used to order a Chinese and get it delivered to the gatehouse. <laughs> Good old times. During the war! Got five minutes to go. Yorkshire puds are going in. Just pop it there, you're just warming it up, aren't you? Right, I'll bring it back in a bit. Can't argue for two pounds and ten pence. It's, it's, let's have a look. That's come off okay. I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's smelling okay. Loads of peas, loads of carrots. You see your beef in the bottom there. And, um, I turned these over halfway. And there's your, your little Yorkshire pud. So let's dish up. I mean, you can eat it out of the tray if you want. I have done in the past. So we'll get these on there and then we'll just sort of pour that out. We'll have a look, loads of peas, loads of carrots, not waste any of it. I mean you can knock up some stuff in. I've got some horseradish, I've got some mint sauce, a bit of salt and pepper. You're laughing. That's what you get. It is hot. Yeah, plenty of gravy. Got me horse radish. We'll have a look at the the beef. Get looks like you get two very wafer thin bits of silver side beef. I've put my horse radish sauce on. I haven't put any mint sauce over it yet because I don't want to. I want to try it first. I'm going to get in with a spud. Yeah, that cuts okay. I'm going to try everything and then I'm going to try it all together, but we want to see what each component is uh, is like. £2.10, please let me know what you think in the comments. Mmm. That's a lovely tasting little spud. Yeah, I like it. Nice and soft, the potato. I like the the oil or whatever they've done the potato in. I'm getting that through. It's 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 yeah, it's all right. Let's try a bit of beef. I mean, it is. There it is. It is really. It is a wap. Oi, oi. <laughs> it is a wapper thin. I'll put your back a bit. Mm. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Try a few peas. Plenty of peas in there. Plenty of vegetables. These have packed it out. Mm. And carrots. Gravy's nice as well. Mmm. Can't fault it. Can't fault it at all. For the price. Mmm. A lot better doing it in the oven than the microwave. Oh yeah. I'll get a bit of everything now. I'm going to stick some mint sauce on my carrots and peas. I do like my own mint sauce, make that spread around. Get some, I'll even get some on my potatoes as well. Oh, I've tried my Yorkshire pudding. Let's get into my Yorkshire. Mmm. 
Yeah, it's nice. It's good. I like it. You can actually taste it as well. It's 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 all really good. I'm impressed with that. I am. Just need a load of bread and butter now to mop the gravy up at the end. And that's what I'm going to do. I like that. I think that's that's good. That's good. Two pounds ten pence. Cool. That's a nine out of ten. I'm I'm happy with that. Please let me know what you think in the comments. I'll be very interested. Thank, thank you very much for watching and subscribing. Take care. All the best. And I'll get back to you on the next.